Welcome to The Ambassador, a prophetic teaching ministry designed to help win the nations and equip the saints. And now, join Craig DeMille with his special guest. God bless you. Thank you so much for joining me for the Tuesday broadcast. I'm Craig DeMille, and I have with me Pastor Chris Showerman. It is such a privilege to have you on the broadcast again. Thanks so much for being with us, Chris. It's great being with you, Craig. Amen. And of course, uh, you know, you've been a blessing to this ministry in many, many ways. And, uh, you know, I just appreciate you. Of course, we've traveled uh, to different countries of the world, specifically Thailand and to Nigeria and to Pakistan uh, together. But uh, we have in common, I've never been a pastor before of a local congregation like you have for almost 40 years. But... um, We've been in, we're, we're, of course, comrades in ministry, and we also share some common interests in the area of not only divine healing, but divine health. And uh, would to God that we would not just receive healing when we need it. And by the way, for anyone that may need a healing, there is no condemnation. Don't ever think of things that we talk about in terms of what, how it's best to treat your body. Don't think of it as a law. Think of it as an opportunity just to glorify God in the way that he's made your body. And he will heal your body if you need healing. But praise God, he wants us to be informed about how to properly govern our bodies because he put us in control. And we can't really uh, accomplish our purpose and our destiny without a well body. So we're going to talk about this. One of the things that uh, you said you would talk with our audience about, I'm really interested in, Chris, and that is having to do with sudden death. A lot of people die. Or, I mean, we could be talking about uh, crib death or, or sudden in- infant death syndrome. We could be talking about uh, cardiomyopathy uh, or a heart arrest, or we could b- talk about sudden death in young athletes athletes, things like that, but I want you to address that subject because I don't want anybody to be, to be in fear, and I want everyone to understand that we can get um, on the right side of these issues. Amen. Well, the Word of God and the world of God are not in contradiction. Uh, God created the world, and we're, we're in it. Um, and he's made us, he's made our bodies a certain way to need certain things. Um, and some of those things are super important. Uh, unfortunately, there are believers, godly believers, I mean, miracle-working believers. I've got friends that uh, have just had fantastic ministries, and then all of a sudden they keel over and die in their 50s, mm. in their 40s. And uh, it's, it's not necessary. Amen. Amen. So what should people do who may be concerned that maybe they've heard about a friend, they've read something in the in a newspaper or online about something that's happened to somebody else? How do people avoid those kinds of situations? Well, um, it's a little complicated and I've got it all in my book. So if somebody wants to get that, they can, they can read it, but I'll just give you a, a couple of examples. One is copper. We need copper. Uh, scientists, it's a, it's a necessary nutrient. If you don't have copper, your, uh, your blood vessels will not stretch. And what happens if they get any pressure on them, they rupture, which is called the ruptured aneurysm. If it happens in your brain, you die. Um, right. I had a massive copper deficiency. I had every symptom of copper deficiency except death. Um, and uh, praise God, I, somebody showed me that that's what was going on. I started taking copper, and all my symptoms went away. I know that I wouldn't be alive today if uh, if that hadn't been revealed to me. Yeah, you know, um, uh, you hear about these kinds of situations where the very first symptom that somebody experiences is the heart attack that takes them out. And it's like there's no warning whatsoever. And that's happened to people in their 40s, 50s, 60s. It also sometimes happens with high school athletes. And uh, yeah. you, so um, there are certain things that God has put in the soil. Remember that Adam came from the soil. We all came from the soil. And 
And so God has put in the soil things that we need to sustain our life. And uh, it's very important that we get everything that we need. Praise God. Well, before the flood, people lived to be almost 900 years old. Right. Mm-hmm. After the flood, people don't live that long. Well, um, they've dug up pre-flood vegetation, and it has all 90 essential nutrients in it in, in right. the proper um, form. And so yeah. uh, sometimes, you know, people live in the goiter belt. If you live in the north of the United States, it's called the goiter belt. You need iodine. Um, right. Anyway, there's all these, these things that you've got to have them. Uh, selenium, if you don't have selenium, uh, that leads to a cardiomyopathy heart attack. And I've right. had friends die of that. All it is is just a trace mineral of selenium. So, and right. again, again it, it, all the details about this are in my book. Um, Craig and I both are uh, really love Dr. Joel Wallach. His, one of his main statements is exercise without supplementation is suicide. Um, which is yeah. why athletes don't live as long as the average American. Something that he pointed out that I was not aware of, we live on the West Coast here. And on the West Coast, it doesn't matter if you eat the most organic food. You brought up selenium. Selenium is a trace mineral that is that God put there that uh, does so many different things for the body. And it's such a great preventative. And by the way, there's, uh, it's not likely you're going to get cancer if you have proper uh, supplementation just of that one particular trace mineral. That's not all that you need, but that one is really, really important. But here on the West Coast, there is no selenium left in the soil. So if it's not in the soil, it's got to come from somewhere. And by the way, I know that this is true of me. I know this is true of, of, of uh, Pastor Chris. We are getting all 90 essential nutrients every single day, okay? Just by doing that and that alone, uh, we have avoided all kinds of problems. And I'm sorry, I've just seen too many people be, being taken out by the enemy prematurely. I don't want to go there. No, thank you. I want to fulfill my days. I want to fulfill my destiny. I want to be strong for Jesus until he comes back. How about you, Chris? Amen. Yep. God has been so good to me. I was on, on a track to not be healthy, but just because I started reading the Bible and doing what it says, um, I still play basketball on Monday nights with the high school kids. I'm 67 years old. I don't hurt. Um, I feel great. I don't get sick. I, it's, that's, that's God's plan for us. Amen. Praise God. Well, listen, I uh, just want to mention this. We've got about a half a minute left, but uh, you're going to have some, you're going to hear some information in just a moment about how to get a hold of Chris's book. And uh, that will be offered for a donation of this ministry of any size. And also you'll get some information about the celebration benefit dinner. And if you have not already RSVP'd for that, you need to do it. Praise God. I want to see you on Saturday night. Chris, thanks so much for being with us again. You are so welcome. Thanks, Greg. God bless you. Join us tomorrow. We trust this program is a blessing to you. If you'd like to receive a CD copy of this week's broadcast, just let us know. And if you can, please include an offering with your request to help us with our radio expenses. To learn more, we recommend Pastor Chris Showerman's insightful manual, God's Guide to Biblical Health and Healing. This guide covers every aspect of physical health from a biblical perspective. In 12 chapters, you'll find out what the Bible calls good food and bad food, the importance of your body, when to seek a doctor, overcoming depression, plus the role of bacteria, exercise, sleep, attitudes, and sin, all in addition to understanding God's laws of health, including the law of faith. Right now, we're making Chris Showerman's manual available to you with your gift to this ministry of any size. Just contact Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. 
That's Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. Now, a quick update on this manual. It was recently updated from 115 pages to 183 full-size pages, and it's now called Wellness Gospel, a Scriptural Guide to Health Care. You'll definitely be glad you got a hold of this. It could even save your life. Now listen to this, then I'll be right back. We're inviting you to the 6th Annual Ambassador Ministries Celebration Benefit Dinner. It's Saturday, March 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. Due to a generous gift, your dinner is provided, but you must RSVP. You'll enjoy an unforgettable evening with heavenly worship, great fellowship, a fabulous meal, and good news from around the world. Don't miss out. And don't wait to reserve your place. Seating is limited. It's Saturday, March 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Rock Creek Country Club. Call now, 503-692-2900. That's 503-692-2900. See you there. The Celebration Benefit Dinner is right upon us. I sure hope I'll be seeing you there on Saturday, March 2nd. This is something that only happens once a year, and it's not your typical benefit. People learn a lot, they worship a lot, they fellowship around a great meal, and one thing I hear over and over from those who come is that they enjoy themselves a whole lot. You really ought to be there, so I hope you've given me your RSVP. If you haven't, do so, and if you have, let a friend know If you call me right away, chances are we still have space. Now we're so privileged to have Chris Showerman with us and I would love to know your standing with us so that programs like these can continue. We need the prayers and financial support of our partners and friends to stay on the air. We often talk about partnership, that's a term we hear a lot, but as you know, partnership is not just about finances. It's a biblical concept that refers to God's people working together for the advancement and enlargement of the kingdom of God. I want to ask you to just pray about partnership with this ministry, then do whatever God tells you to do. And remember that partnership is not necessarily a long-term commitment. It might just be a one-time gift to help us with a project or a missions outreach, or just to let us know that you're praying for us. If you do decide to help us on a monthly basis, that would mean a whole lot because monthly commitments form a foundation for us to operate. Now be sure to join me for the next broadcast. Until then, just remember, my friend, that you are God's ambassador. You're his representative on the earth. Bye for now. You've been listening to The Ambassador with Craig Demo. Your testimonies and prayer requests are very important to Craig. Please write Ambassador Ministries, P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. This ministry is sustained by the faithfulness of God through our partners and friends. To find out more about partnering with the Lord through this exciting ministry, contact Ambassador Ministries. P.O. Box 19561, Portland, Oregon, 97280. Our web address is ambassadorministries.us. That's ambassadorministries.us. May God richly bless you.